Today, the most misunderstood word in Islam is the word jihad. It is not only misunderstood by the non-Muslims, it's even misunderstood by the Muslims. Most of the non-Muslims, as well as Muslims, think that any war fought by any Muslim for any reason, whether it be for personal gain, whether it be for fame, whether it be for name, whether it be for region, whether it be for wealth, whether it be for power, is called as jihad. Jihad does not mean any war fought by any Muslim, whether it be for name, for fame, for wealth, for power, for region. Jihad is an Arabic word which is derived from the Arabic word jihada, which means to strive, which means to struggle. In Islamic context, jihad means to strive and struggle against one's own evil inclination. Jihad means to strive and struggle to make the society better. Jihad means to strive and struggle against oppression. Jihad also means to strive and struggle in the battlefield in self-defense. Jihad basically means to strive and struggle. If a student is striving and struggling to pass in the examination, in Arabic we say he is doing jihad. And many people think that jihad can only be done by Muslims. There are verses in the Quran which say that even non-Muslims did jihad. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 14, we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. In travel upon travel did the mother bore them, and in pain did she give them birth. Immediately next verse. Surah Luqman chapter 31 verse number 15 says, But if your parents do jihad, strive and struggle to make you worship somebody else of whom you have got no knowledge, don't obey them, but live with them with love and compassion. Here Quran is saying that non-Muslim parents who strive and struggle to make their children worship somebody else besides Almighty God, that is do shirk, do not obey them, but yet live with them with love and compassion. The same message is repeated in Surah an kabut chapter number 29, verse number 8. We have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. But if your parents strive and struggle, do jihad, to make you worship somebody else besides Allah, do not obey them. But yet, live with them with love and compassion. Here Quran is saying that the non-Muslim parents are doing jihad, they are striving and struggling to make the children do shirk, associate partners with God. This jihad is called as jihad fi sabil shaitan. What a Muslim should do is jihad fi sabil Allah. Normally when you use the word jihad is taken for granted, it is jihad fi sabil Allah, jihad in the way of Allah, unless otherwise. Most of the Orientalists, they translate the word jihad as holy war. And unfortunately, Many of the so-called Muslim scholars, inverted commas, even they translate jihad as holy war. Holy war, if you translate into Arabic, is harbum muqaddasa. If you read the Quran, nowhere in the Quran is the word harbum muqaddasa mentioned. And there is no hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the word harbum muqaddasa is mentioned. This word holy war was first coined to describe the crusades done by the Christians. If you read history, several centuries ago, the Christian crusaders, they forced and killed tens of thousands of human beings in the name of Christianity. If you read history, the maximum number of human beings killed in the name of any religion, it is Christianity. And this they called it as the holy war. And today, they use it for the Arabic word jihad. 
fundamentalist was first coined to describe the Christian. Today it is used for the Muslims. So jihad does not mean holy war. Jihad means to strive, to struggle. The best way to understand the meaning of jihad is to understand what the scriptures of Islam have to speak about jihad. What is mentioned in the Quran and the authentic hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When we read the Quran, we come to know it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 78. Strive and struggle in Allah's cause as you ought to strive and struggle. Do jihad in Allah's way as you ought to do jihad with sincerity and discipline. For Allah has chosen for you and has not put any difficulties in your religion. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 20, As for the believers who suffer exile and strive with might and main in Allah's cause with their goods and their lives, these are the ones who shall attain the highest rank in the sight of Allah and they shall go to paradise, they shall achieve Jannah, they shall achieve salvation. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's a hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, in the book of Jihad, hadith number 46, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, said, that Allah the Messenger said, that the person who does Jihad in Allah's way, and Allah knows best who is doing Jihad, who is striving and struggling in Allah's way, the person who strives and struggles in Allah's way, and Allah knows best who is striving and struggling in His way, is like a person who continuously fasts and prays. And Allah has promised him paradise if he is killed in the battlefield, or Allah returns him safely with rewards and war booty. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Ankabut, chapter number 29 verse number 6 that as to those who strive in Allah's way they do it for their own souls for Allah is free of wants he is not in need of his creatures so if you strive and struggle in Allah's way it is for your own benefit it is not for Allah Allah does not require the help of any of his creatures he is free of all wants worthy of all praises It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, hadith number 2784. Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad She asks the Prophet, can we join jihad? And the Prophet replies, perfect hajj is the best jihad for you. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 5972. A man asks the Prophet, that can he go for jihad? The Prophet asks him, that do you have parents? He says, yes. For you, serving your parents is jihad. It's mentioned in Sunan Nisai, hadith number 4209. A man asks the Prophet, which is the best of jihad? And the Prophet replies, the best jihad is a person who speaks a word of truth against the tyrant ruler. It's mentioned in Sahib Nihban, hadith number 4682, that the Prophet said, a mujahid is a person who strives and struggles against his own nafs, his own desire for the cause of Allah. And muhajir is a person who migrates from falsehood to the truth. From all these hadith we come to know that the best jihad keeps on changing depending upon the situation. When the Prophet told the man that, do you have parents? The best jihad is to serve your parents. The Prophet knew that his parents required him. It does not mean always serving your parents is the best of jihad. For that particular person, because his parents required him, for him, the best jihad was serving his parents. So depending upon the situation, the best jihad changes. We would tell beautiful things by this man Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him He taught us to love and to care for each other That is
Love for 